We must do the best time if you didn't have a the first class. You say what? When was the last time you didn't have any point in the first part? Honestly, I could care less. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. What, what got you going in the second? Uh, just getting in the rhythm. I mean, getting the foul trouble again. Kind of put a cog in, in that, that, uh, that first quarter and um, see one go down. And it was kind of an avalanche from there. We were moving the ball really well. To, and Really in the first quarter, um, and especially early in the second, all the threes I got were off the either relocation and swing swing. And, um, and that's when we're at our best, when everybody's a threat and moving the ball, looking for open shots, and when obviously we want to go in. So if you guys, are, you guys are at 10 in a row now, what do you think the key has been over the last couple of weeks that's really got you all in a rhythm at the moment? Probably the best thing we're doing right now is taking care of the ball. Um, Playmakers are making right decisions more times than not, and getting shots up. And that's obviously when the talent takes over. Our defense has been better. People are settling in, settling into rotations with Demarcus, and we got an edge about us. It hasn't been perfect, and we know we can still get better. But um, we've talked about putting a run together for a while now, and right in the middle of a really good one and it's we want to create good vibes especially with all-star break coming up and continue to build momentum in the second half of the season seems like every time you guys play them it's it's like back and forth it's always they're all they've all been tight pretty much yeah, two great teams going at it uh, we bring the best out of each other obviously and it's good and it's tough you know, they're loud and engaged and they can go on runs, <clears throat> and, and tonight we knew that was going to happen, but we were able, able to withstand them, go right back at them, get a bunch of stops in the fourth quarter to uh, keep a little bit of distance. Clay hits a big shot, KD uh, forces the issue and gets the foul out a couple times. And besides those two careless turnovers, um, giving them another shot, we were pretty much in control. I didn't feel like we were uh, in jeopardy. And even though how close the game was, it felt like we had a good momentum. Steve, said the, Steve said the league is better than it's ever been, or it's been in a long time. Would you agree? Somebody was doing the Top to bottom, yeah. Um, you obviously know that there's still teams that are rebuilding, but they have some talent. They can show up any given night and, and test you. But in terms of the playoff teams on each side, Especially teams that have, have been conference finals, finals situation. They they know how to win, know how to play, and have cohesive units that are you know, allowing the talent and the consistency every single night to shine. So um, it's a great time to be a basketball fan for sure. Hey Steph, what do you think it's going to be like to compete against your brother in the three point contest in Charlotte? I haven't thought about it much. All I know is that he's gonna try to whoop my head. <laughs> so it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be fun. You wanna try to persuade for it? Last question. He said we got lucky. Got pretty lucky. Pretty lucky. I don't know what that means. In terms of just forcing them into tough shots and how they could have made them. Uh, the turnovers really could have hurt us, but over the course of 40 years, we gave ourselves a good, good opportunity to win the game. defense most of the time, or all the time, <laughs> and so uh, yeah, nothing surprises you, no more than I expected, and, and just be ready to go back out. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.